gives me great pleasure to welcome N. Chandrasekharan, Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director at TCS. It's great to be talking to you non-results time. Uh, here at the India Economic Summit, the focus is on linking leadership with livelihood. And when you look at a phrase like that, what does it mean to you? I think if you look at uh, India, there are three or four core issues which are very important from achieving growth success for India over the next decade. I think number one is inclusion. Number two is how do you harness all this uh, talent, rather the demographic dividend that we talk about, how do we really um, capitalize on that. And the third one is probably governance. And the fourth one, um, I would say not in any priority, is how do you leverage all the technology to achieve empowerment. Um, if you look at the agenda of the uh, summit, um, it centers around all these four aspects. So I expect that there will be a lot of debate on policies, on implementation, on ideas, how, uh, ideas on how um, the technology can be uh, effectively leveraged. So I think it's going to be a really f lot of fun. Yeah. I hope it is. Uh, but governance, at one level the most amorphous, the most difficult one to um, say, you know, break down into action steps. Is that a big concern? You've been having a whole host of interactions with delegates from all over the world who all have a stake in India. Um, would you say, I know that the skeptics in media believe that governance becomes the biggest problem, particularly what we've seen in the last year. Is that a sentiment you pick up from uh, delegates as well? I think uh, the uh, issues on all the four uh, dimensions are pretty important and governance has got two aspects right one is uh, uh, corruption the other one is bureaucracy so I think sometimes we focus a lot on bureaucracy sometimes we focus on corruption but I think on both fronts um, uh, transparency is important agility is important speed is important so I think there will be uh, discussions on uh, those three aspects as well so I, I wouldn't put an excessive um, focus on one versus, on versus all the others. Yeah. Um, perhaps because it seems like the most difficult one to uh, get to, you know, get to grips with. Um, you know, there are a few sub-themes, and uh, one of them is building central and state competitiveness. Now, we're having the India Economic Summit in Mumbai for the first time, and in a sense, it shows that the center of gravity is shifting outside of New Delhi and, and it's you know it's uh, an important acknowledgement uh, but two very complex things central competitiveness and state competitiveness because as we know each state is its own country almost in a sense with its own peculiar set of challenges uh, how much of the discussion is going to be around that I personally don't think that uh, it's uh, central versus uh, state debate it's not and versus uh, but certainly the two together. And also I don't think that it's a competitiveness issue. Uh, I think there is a lot of scope for collaboration and there is a lot of scope for uh, driving efficiencies, agility and so on and so forth. So whether it is the state, the center or the businesses, um, I think there's a lot to be done by leveraging each other and creating a collaborative framework and improving the way we do things and that's the, that's the core point. And it's not a competitiveness issue. I think if it's a competitiveness issue, I, I'll be more than happy because we would have achieved a certain level of efficiency uh, so that we can start competing. But I think there is a lot of upside on just achieving uh, speed and efficiency from where we are at the current levels. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.